Hello artists, welcome to <laughs> online learning. Um, I will be your teacher in the spring and um, I am new to online teaching so I really appreciate you being with me and having confidence in what I can bring to, um, to you. I am a practicing artist. I have been exhibiting my work and selling my work and winning grants and fellowships um, for many years. And I have been teaching uh, full-time at Seattle Central for longer than you've probably been alive. And this is an adventure for me as it probably is for you. And I am looking forward to learning right alongside you. I am looking forward to learning new technologies to bring information to you. I am used to, sure, doing PowerPoint, but most of my teaching happens face to face um, at an easel or a horse bench, uh, helping a student master the skills that we will be practicing this quarter. Um, I've already started getting together a whole bunch of videos and lessons for you and I want to encourage you to reach out to me um, during drop-in sessions and anytime you are not certain about what you're doing um, look at the first page or home page uh, the welcome tells you uh, where to find information so on the pages I have uh, documents that have a compilation of videos and I have also documents that have um, information and then on our assignments I have a lot of links and I have lectures and and demonstrations uh, so hopefully between all of those things and you uh, texting me or FaceTiming with me or dropping in to our open sessions, we will be able to have maybe even a more uh, interactive um, situation than normal. Uh, normally in a class, you know, I have 25 artists and the class is tiered. So while I'm dealing with uh, first level students, I'm dealing with second level and third level at the same time and sometimes um, I get caught up with one level more than the other. So maybe, maybe this will actually be even better. Um, I am going to sign off with this hello and um, open up the kit so you can see what's in the kit. A word of warning that my not all my kits had everything in them. I trial run everything before I asked students to purchase them and Dick Blick hadn't gotten all the materials or their act together in time. Uh, I have in the in our pages, I have, um, or in an announcement, I've listed uh, how to order your kit. You can call and just go and pick up or you can call and you can have them ship it to you. That's how I got my kits. Um, I live in Snohomish <laughs> and I usually carpool into the city but with uh, schools being closed, no carpool, and so that would have meant I would have had to take um, to public transportation, no good. <laughs> so I had them ship it to me. Um, and so if they ship it to you, you can do that. Uh, remember, this is asynchronous. Uh, typically the classes uh, run, um, they're listed in the catalog, and I've listed what hours the classes are at. So that's when I will be available. Um, I'll be here in the studio, uh, right next to the art materials. So if you have any questions and you're like, oh, I'm not really sure I understand how to do this or whatever, we can FaceTime it and I can show you with the same materials that you have. Um, so double check and make sure that all the stuff that you ordered in your kit is in there. And so let's take a look at what those kits have. 
just got the kit for Art 121 printmaking. I uh, ordered the kit so that I could have the same materials that students will be using for their assignments. Uh, and the only thing that my kit does not have that yours will is a new brayer. So this is my old brayer and it's the one that I'll be using because uh, Dick Blick is having difficulty sourcing enough brayers for the class. Uh, so that's one thing that you're going to notice that um, your kits, some kits will have six inch brayers. Some will have two inch, some three, some four, um, because they simply did not have enough. I guess with the virus, they're having trouble uh, getting enough supplies. So your kit will come in a bag like this and it will have everything that you need for this quarter. Um, this newsprint pad comes with the kit. It is uh, 14 by 17, uh, even though your plates are small. So we're gonna use this paper to do our printing and our proofing. Uh, and you can sketch on it. Um, and it comes with 100 sheets, so you shouldn't run out of paper. Though I encourage you to try different kinds of papers. Uh, if you happen to have any color construction paper at home, it's really great to work on. And of course, so is any kind of paper that you print on for your, um, that you've been using for your reports. For example, if you have to print any paperwork, uh, laser printer paper is great for printing relief. So I'm gonna open the bag. To see everything that we have and don't get rid of this bag it's a really heavy duty plastic bag and it's a really great little portfolio to carry your materials back and forth um, so first off there are um, two soft cut plates if you cut um, shallow enough you're able to use both sides so that would bring you four plates in total if you're if you're doing it like that though you may need to uh, get more plates afterwards um, in here in here is a plexiglass plate and I'm gonna open that up so that you can see and we're gonna use this plexiglass plate for two things we're gonna use it for monotypes and we're also gonna use it to roll up our inks I'll, I'll do that in a minute <laughs> maybe I'll open it with our utility knife all right, so your kit comes with a utility knife, uh, which we can use to cut our plates, and which we can also use to open boxes um, and things with. And I'm gonna totally use it to cut through this plastic. I am. One thing to remember, whenever you're using um, a box cutter like this, you want to retrieve the blade so you don't get cut. Save these because we will be using these also uh, for printmaking. You can use these to make your registration matrixes. Um, so don't, don't get rid of this cardboard. It's part of your art materials. And then this plexiglass sheet we're going to use for making monotypes to begin with and then for inking up our plates. We have a Sharpie with which to transfer our images onto our plates and go over our design work so it's permanent and we can see what we're gonna cut and what it's gonna look like. You have a handle, a speedball handle with five different kinds of blades and of course when we do our first project I'll show you how to use that. We have a traditional Japanese bamboo baron. This is what all the Japanese masters use. Uh, I know that they have a lot more expensive uh, barons to use for, um, for printing, but I figure if this is good enough for Japanese masters, it's certainly good enough for students, and it happens to be the least expensive baron there is. Um, it's made out of bamboo, which is a very resilient material, and it's also, also renewable, so bonus we're using something renewable and good for the environment. And then we have 
yellow, red, so red, blue, yellow, white, and black water base inking it inks. And because uh, it's still cold and we a lot of us still have the heater on at home, uh, and so your environment may be uh, fairly dry, we're using ink retarder to keep these open a little longer. Um, and so these are the inks that we're working with. They're non-toxic, they're water soluble. So it's safe to have this material at home and it's very easy to clean up so you don't get in trouble with your roommates or with parents if you're living at home uh, or you don't have to worry about your pets uh, getting into it. Though of course, um, we don't have hanging lines or drying racks in our homes like we do at um, school. So when I print, I'll be, you'll see, I'll be setting, when I do my demos, I'll be setting my prints to dry on the floor. Uh, you wanna be careful if you have small children or pets in the house. You know, water soluble dries pretty quickly, but you want to set it in a place where it's not going to be uh, stepped on because that could mess up your print. So those are the materials that come with your kit. And I wanted to show you what they are. I'm going to remove the camera from my holder and show you close up. And again, you'll have your own brayer. It may be a different size. Might be bigger, might be smaller than mine because mine is an old one. I asked Larry at the, um, at the art supply store at Dick Blick not to um, send me a brayer because you guys are short on brayers. And then it comes with newsprint. 